and back at it again and uh, I'm on the gun uh, again here I've been hunting with a couple guys the last several days here and haven't had a chance to carry a gun myself but uh, today is just me by myself so I'm taking this GoPro and my gun my barrel camera and we're gonna try to go kill one of these turkeys that we were in there on yesterday in around uh, he gobbled really good yesterday, but I'm gonna go in on his ridge today and uh, Try to be close. He's been there for a month when I've been listening and stuff. So we're gonna go try him Quick before work hunt today. I got a lot going on so I don't have a ton of time at all uh, Today, so I'm kind of going low-key, but I'm going I'm gonna go in tight on this turkey and uh, Try to see what he does and then there's another turkey on out the ridge uh, from this turkey that I'll be able to hear from there. I'll also be able to hear the turkey that Brock missed yesterday from here if he's back in there. So um, it's good, good high spot, good place to be, and we'll be close to this uh, this turkey that's been hanging out on this ridge if he's there, uh, which it should be. So we're going to get to getting, get out here and make our walk up. It is beautiful today. It's cold, 37, my truck says, but it feels colder than that. Um, and the sky is crystal clear with a big moon so uh, it should be good i hope they gobble this morning hope we have a good hunt um we're gonna get on and get out here and see what happens
is a nice size in this bottom. It's coming, I think. We're getting ready here. Hopefully working right straight up his bottom up, up in here. Play a little hide and seek with him.
got him, baby. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What a turkey hunt. Oh, man, what a turkey hunt. I'm here to tell you. Oh, boy, came up through that bottom like a champ, son. Like a champ. Let me get him right here before he gets down this holler here. My land, what a beard on that turkey. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Man, what a turkey hunt. My gracious, what a turkey hunt. Oh, he did it right. Oh, man, he did it right. Slow played him. Slow played him. Gave him silent treatment. He come right up that bottom, just like he's supposed to. Just like he's supposed to. Come up in here looking, looking for us, man. Hide and seek at its best. God, that's why we do it right there. Saw something right there at the last minute. That sun's kind of hit me a little bit. And he was turning to leave. I was wanting him to come a little further, but he was 30 anyway. So I let him have it. I want to turn again. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Well, come in here and had ourselves a fine morning. Lord sure has blessed me this season. It's been been a heck of a year. Had my buddy Brock in here yesterday and killed a turkey with him. Missed the turkey. Killed a turkey. And we heard four or five other turkeys. So, I didn't have a whole lot of time to hunt this morning. Uh, I have some work obligations and stuff today that I got to get to pretty quickly. It's seven. I shot him at about 7.15. But uh, that's going to allow me to get to work. So, so, thank you, Lord. But we come in here this morning, parked up here on this top, and went out this ridge out that way. And... Uh, expected a turkey to be on it because there was a turkey on it yesterday and there's been a turkey on it for a month when I've been listening and uh, he wasn't there and this might be him or this might be the turkey that Brock missed I'm not 100% sure but there was a turkey down in this bowl right here that, that's across from where I thought he'd be but, but where Brock missed that turkey is across this holler on a big uh, spur ridge so this turkey could be the turkey Brock missed and just roosted down in here low on this side, or it could be this turkey, I'm not sure. But either way, this turkey started gobbling down in here good. I was up there and I had to make a move down to him. Heard him down in here and I thought he was down in this bottom really low. So I come down this little gas pipeline, worked my way down into these woods and he gobbled again on his own. And I knew he was in this bottom at that point. Started calling to him. And he hit it. He started hitting it pretty good. And I shut up on him for probably four or five minutes. He didn't do anything, so I soft, I soft called again. And he didn't hit it. Gave him three or four more minutes, and, and he gobbled straight down the hill right here, and I knew he was coming. So I got on him pretty good and started scratching in the leaves and working the leaves, and he hit it three or four times, and then I shut down totally. Wanted him to come up in there looking. And I have enough roll right there where he came from out of that bottom that I knew he was going to have to come up that side far enough to where when he got up in there to look where the scratching was that he would be in gun range at that point. And sure enough, man, I caught him coming up that bottom and he just come up through there like a champ. Come right up through there. He'd look, then he'd peck on the ground. Then he'd walk a little bit. And he was walking a pretty brisk pace coming up through there looking for those hens he heard. Come up through there walking just got to a point where the sun's behind me but it was kind of shining over on me and I was hit a lot better than I thought I was but I was worried about him catching something in that sunlight he got up there to about 30 and craned it real high and he kind of took a side step like he wasn't real sure because she was supposed to be there and she wasn't and when he did that I just shot him I had a very small gap and I just put it on his head and shot him and he went straight down I went down there and grabbed him up and man he's got a 
giant beard on him. He's a he's a small spurred turkey. He could be an old turkey with just small spurs. Who knows? But I don't care. He did it. He did it right. And gobbled really good. Has a giant beard on him, uh, which is just a plus. But that hunt, man, that's that's what we that's what we dream of in the hardwoods. Uh, no decoy, just hide and seek, playing the turkey. And uh, man, that's that just gets you going. If it don't get you going, there's something wrong with you, or you just you're just not a turkey hunter because that's that's what turkey hunters live for right there. And uh, so I'm tagged out, tagged out in West Virginia, and it's middle of the second week. So we've got like two and a half weeks left here that I'll just be filming. So that's fine with me. God sure has blessed me with a great, great year and a, another great turkey. So. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to get some pictures and stuff here and enjoy them for a little while longer, and then i got to get out of here and get to work. So.